Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Marvel's Spider Man. Friends, today we have a very special caller breaking important news right here because where else? Mayor Osborne, thanks for calling in. No, thank you, Jonah. When you were publishing the Bugle, you were always fair to me. Tough, sure, but fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now, what's this crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal, cowardly city hall bombing that almost claimed my life, it's clear our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no. Though that was a fine idea. No, this would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops overseas. I can't name it until the contract is signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. Well, that sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. I'd expect nothing less. And let me stress, this is in no way replacing our brave officers of the law. Just augmenting in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here. So I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. And a fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising me to get some rest now, so I don't mind. Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared, did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. I don't care who else is using it. Don't care. Okay, there we go. Another very extended uh, J. Jonah Jameson podcast with the mayor with some actually very interesting information. So I think we can assume that Silver Sable is actually the hey, contract Howard, that he was talking think about. I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Grey Flex. Might have just left a stain on my suit. Claire, guy's a little devil, but he's a charmer. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards me. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. Okay, so we also found the Pidgey, and I do hear a backpack around here. Where would that be? There it is. And then, of course, we need to just head towards the next objective, which is just right over there. And I think, if I recall correctly, we need to go to the lab, which is right over here. There we go. So, Silver Sable, quote-unquote, helping out the police, which sounds like, yeah... Almost like a military coup, a private military coup, since they're working for Osborne. That might be interesting later on. But Octavius hey, Industries. Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Oh God. I mean, wow. They know what we all this we new stuff. we expect about Doctor Octavius. His mouth wasn't moving when he said that. Um, and indeed, all that new stuff. Where did he get the money from? What's on the boxes? What's what's that called? Advanced Idea Mechanics. AIM. That sounds familiar somehow. Before we talk to Dr. Octavius, I'm gonna quickly go through his stuff again, and there's an audio tape here. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead we gave people something they've never seen. Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with and instead unleash the awesome power of our minds. Um... Why does Dr. Octavius have a blueprint of the raft and like highlighting its vulnerabilities? Does he want to break out everybody who is in there? Um, let's not worry about that, do some scientific research. And there we go, that's the last one of the four we could do, which got us a thousand experience, awesome. a whole lot of new materials, and a research token. Which is 
Great, so we have two more left and then we get, if we have everything, we get another four extra research tokens, which is gonna come in handy for a lot of our upgrades. Now, where is that other terminal? It's not that, I think. I think it's over here at the tablet. Uh, ooh, it's not, it's not accessible. Maybe after we talk to Dr. Octavius. But first, there's another thing over here, which is probably another audio diary. Damn it. Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Doc must have more history with Norman than he shared. Yeah, because he sounds really, really angry in that bit. Uh, maybe a bit of coffee? Ugh. How do you know we lost our grant money? Just taste the new coffee. Okay, never mind. Uh, you know what? Let's have a little chat with Dr. Octavius. Let's see what all of this is about. Hello. Oh, we don't even need to talk to him. We need to look at his activity. Quote unquote activity. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Octavius Industries, groundbreaking technology, creating the world you deserve, and then a few logo designs. So the quote is the same as the one he used before. Just quickly going to check in here if there is anything new. Doesn't seem like it, aside from the wall. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter, I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Indeed. Uh, what the hell? Oh. God. That's not a Vitruvian man, is it? He wants to add a few appendages. Our first volunteer subject. Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Hmm. I can't pick it up, so can't really do anything else with it. But this looks creepy. Enhanced... Technologically Enhanced X System. Hmm. Well, it looks like Dr. Octavius, all right. And here we have... Ooh, this one looks fancy. So busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Okay. So it looks like a carbon fiber really? prosthetic arm. Oh, gold. The animations are creepy for some reason. It's really. Everything okay? What is what is happening? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman. You son of a! Could have called that. Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. Okay. I have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No. Don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? Well, this I'll is a personality shift. And, uh, get us ready for another test. By the way, are you paying us again or not? So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. 
He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. So yeah, the history behind that is really tragic, but... Be sure to run a diagnostic. He shouldn't have left, probably. Could be a short. If he wanted to stop uh, Osborne from doing his uh, unethical experiment, actual voltage and incorrect oh. voltage. Okay. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Okay, so let's rotate this like this and try a few things. And there we go. Fix that up right immediately. There we go. So that's probably why I couldn't access the other tablet because I needed to do this first. But I do wonder oh, what the unethical experiment that was that uh, Osborne was trying to do. Probably something to do with his own villain persona. But I do hope they start playing around with that a bit more like they did in the in the past. I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Aww. I mean, it's so sad because you know how it's gonna end, probably. I must call from MJ. Because they're hinting at it. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. You know what? Can I access the tablet now? Yeah, okay, so let's quickly do those puzzles. So there we, we go. Need to refine this design. Another uh, research token and a bunch of experience in the bag. So that means we can actually get out and what's talk that? to and What's what? I mean, we checked that out already. But what is this? This is something else. I wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ha! Ah, kidding, of course. Okay. So... Armor pieces. For who, exactly? Or what? That is... Weird. Okay, let's get out. Back in the suit, and a fresh start completed. And now let's call MJ, I suppose. And level up. Okay, there we go. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but... Yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. Okay, so All that right. means we can MJ's. go there yet, I suppose. Be hard to screw this one up. Guess um, I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Okay, freelance for a while until she calls. Let's see. I'm first gonna quickly upgrade my stuff. We're gonna do the point launch boost. Press X on contact with points to massively boost point launch distance. And charge it up. There we go. That is great. So if you're gonna try that out. Oh my god, that is amazing. That's gonna be fun. So, we can do whatever we want, the game says. So I'm guessing we should actually do another side quest. And let me check the map. And I'll get back to you once I've uh, arrived at said side quest. I have to tell you, Triple J, I used to think you were exaggerating the danger to the city, but after the city hall bombing, I gotta admit, you were right. A lot of people have been telling me that, congratulating me, but I don't want congratulations. I would have loved to have been wrong. Better yet, for those in a position of power who listened to me and done something. They didn't, and I'm not sure they'll listen now. Unless concerned citizens like you and I make ourselves impossible to ignore. Stand up! Take your city back! 
That's the only way we can ever be sure that justice will be done. That and listening to me every day. People have been congratulating him? What the fuck, by the way? Um, moving on. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> okay, that was a, an adorable laugh. Um, haven't found the side quest in the meantime. She got me uh, off guard there, so uh, let's just head straight over there. The enemy of my enemy is probably also my enemy. I still gotta shut this down. Okay. So are these? These are the silver sable guys. So let's just take care of the demons. Okay, the people in both four apartments are really annoyed with you right now. There we go. Oh, go. And body slam. There we go. And then swing back up. And take him out. Oop. No need to thank me, stable dudes. Air throw three enemies. Electrify three enemies at once. Yeah, I should have. Should take better note of those challenges in between, because I always forget about that. But, dinner with MJ, here we go. I mean, I couldn't leave a firefight right outside her apartment, right? So, uh, here we go. Going in. Come in. Peter. Oh. You are not going to believe what happened. Well, there was a you firefight right outside you? your door. I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. Okay. Earlier in the day. Okay, there we go. Thought there was gonna be uh, just dinner. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? This is not a good idea, by the way. That office might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need uh, to get back there. Okay. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Um, some objects can be pushed to the left or right to direct Shot enemies. So, how? I need to get this guy out of my way. Ah. Really yeah, we build this war beast for Lee. So there we go. The boss's new venture. He turns around, and we can move on. What the hell is that guy? He's big. So what's the boss doing with the money from this lead job? Grave dust, man. Um, what are they building? Grave dust. Is this all for Lee? They're all looking in the other direction and are probably just deaf. Oh, gold. Yeah. Oh, gold. Oh, my God. She just got shot. I killed MJ. Okay, so we can't walk into the glass or into boxes. What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Totally didn't see the glass there. Oh my god, and she controls like shit, by the way, and for just for precise movements. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. So now I can go over here and push it in that direction. Oh my god, and all those boxes. Jesus Christ. Her fine motor skills are this big. not what I want. Where For precise it? control. Swear I left it. That guy's not going anywhere. Maybe I can distract him. Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? So where's this guy? He's still over there. Oh god, there's somebody looking at me. If I push this, hey, but anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Hey, I heard something. Left to right, left to right, left to right. Okay, he's going my right, his left. What is this? 
Okay. Some kind of military hardware. Um, I don't have any places to hide. Is he gonna turn around or? Yeah. Okay. Office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Jesus oh, Christ. Why's the boss being so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything? Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. Still. Oh no, he should not be seeing me. He's in a seat. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? We're gonna pick up some more supplies. So he's over there. Boss wants him lost in a Jersey swamp by next week. But just wait. What's with the book? I mean, I, I got a shot. Why do I need to check this out? Okay. What's in these? Stealth section with MJ. Okay. Ooh, wow. He's a big biker guy. Tombstone? You're right, Rick. Uh, won't notice. Because uh, it won't be there. God I'm not familiar it. with Tombstone. Fix it. Ah! Ah! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Is he gonna shoot him? Oh wow! So he's just kind of like Such a Luke Cage. And he just killed. Ooh, he just killed a man. This is not Spider-Man for kids, by the way. And now I need a new welder. Tombstone. Yeah, totally not familiar with that villain. If that is a, a new villain. Need to get into that office. Okay, search Tombstone's office. So there's one guy in front of the door. And come on now. Every time I hear, I'm hearing things. Yes, you are. You are hearing things. I should be able to just sneak past all these guys and into the office. Made it. Can I close the door? No. There's something shiny over here, by the way. For some reason these papers are really, really shiny. The glowing coins, that's the thing I gave. Well, MJ gave Peter, but the blueprint first. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an arm? Here we go. And then these thingies. GPS trackers. GPS trackers, okay. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, and that was it, apparently. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, it just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. Oh, okay. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. The Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I, I love the Spidey plushie in the, the sofa. In January, too. Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. This is adorable, so by the way. What if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. 
<laughs> that reaction. Not again. That's not how cooking works, by the way. It doesn't happen that fast. Five rations. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break in. <laughs> that was Charles cheating. Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Uh, okay. Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh, I think he did. Uh, <laughs> Moving back. <laughs> where do you want me to... Uh... Just a couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. That was great. That was an amazing scene. Such little touches. Okay, dinner date complete, and I am gonna take a little break probably after whatever conversation we're gonna. Spidey? Spidey, you're not in the center of that lamppost. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So, what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Partner, bow chicka bow. But yeah, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. When we get back, we're gonna check up on that break-in. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Marvel Spider-Man. Goodbye.